Jason, when I saw that story, I really thought it was a joke. What say you? Listen, if you worked at ESPN like I did on two separate occasions, you knew as soon as you heard it, it wasn't a joke. ESPN is this controlled by PC culture. They can make this kind of foolish decision. They are so worried about Twitter and, oh, my God, the left on Twitter will assassinate you if you do anything that remotely – this isn't even offensive, but, again, yeah, right. I'm not surprised by it at all. But ESPN I, I do, to give ESPN a fair shake here, I believe that Robert Lee, the commentator, was given the choice – do you want to do this game or do you want to walk away? And I believe he said, according to anonymous sources at ESPN, he was the one who walked away. Do you believe now, that? I think I don't buy that. ESPN approached this guy and said, gave him the option. But it's a non-issue. This is an Asian young man who happens to share the name yeah. of Robert E. Lee. It's no big deal. No one would have noticed or cared. You don't talk about it's the play-by-play -play announcer that much. The guy will just say Robert most of the time. It's not like the guy next to him is going to say, Robert Lee? What do you think about X, Y, and Z? This is just crazy. It is ridiculous. I think we agree on this one, Jason. Now let's move on to this one. On one side, a pro Catholic protest outside NFL headquarters. It takes place today. On the other side, famous boxer George Foreman, he says Kaepernick's anthem protests are unpatriotic. Where do you come down on this one, Jason Whitlock? Well, uh, unpatriotic is a strong word, but I understand why people interpret it that way. Listen, Colin Kaepernick allegedly, allegedly started his protest because he was wanting to draw attention to police brutality. But what has happened, because you take a knee during the national anthem, no one's talking about police brutality. Everyone's talking about, did Colin Kaepernick disrespect the national anthem, the flag, and the country? There is no conversation about what he allegedly was trying to draw attention to. So certainly what Colin Kaepernick did was stupid. It's ineffective. It started a big conversation about Colin Kaepernick, and I think he's very happy with that. I think he loves the attention. I think he loves being a martyr and a celebrity. And there's going to be a bunch of foolish people run out in front of the NFL headquarters this, today and protest, not police brutality, but whether some multimillionaire quarterback has a job. That's a joke. I think that NFL ratings, they were down last season. I think they're down because there's so much football on TV, not because of the Kaepernick, uh, Mr. Kaepernick, taking a knee. What do you say? I well, I think that last year's ratings had a lot to do with the most fascinating presidential election we ever had. I think there's been a lot of research and proof on that. I will say this, though. As this national anthem issue becomes more and more polarizing and more and more pervasive, you're turning off people on both sides. Kaepernick supporters are turned off because Kaepernick's not in the league. People that love football are turned off because there appears to be all this disrespect for the American flag, and for America by some of the most blessed Americans. The NFL pays these guys large sums of money. Most football fans would love to be professional football players and make that money and get the adulation and celebrity that these guys get. And now they're on the field throwing a tantrum, acting like America is the worst place on earth. It's a joke. It's disrespectful. I don't think it's working for either side. And it could, if this continues... It could do some damage to the NFL. You know, we are in complete agreement. I'm excited about the new football season. I love to watch it on TV. Just play the game, please, Thank and you. let me please. watch. I think we're both on the same side here. Jason, you're all right. See you again soon, okay? Thank That's you, Barney. <laughs>